What's going on you guys? Thank you for coming back to another Clash of Clans video confirming the Clash of Clans is not dead despite the 87,000 videos you've seen in the past week. All right, so we're going to go ahead and talk about, well, have you ever heard the saying, it's just so crazy it might work? That's kind of what we're looking at here. The idea of using a drop ship attack strategy, yet dropping the battle machine first. And when you actually think about it, it's not that crazy of a strategy. It's just that so many people have become so accustomed to the same old drop ship and minion strategy where you use the battle machine to come in and clean up after the units have come in and taken out the crushers and of course the giant cannon. Here, the battle machine is going to lead the way and several members of Full Night Attack have been having a lot of success with this strategy. High 60s, 70s, 80 percents, usually good enough for a victory, even at the very top of the trophy ladder. Here, Captain K just about to finish off an attack where the minions are doing a little bit more cleanup and yes, pushing him over 80% damage against a nearly maxed out base. Obviously, the wall's not a factor with an attack like this. There goes the Elixir Collector, and these minions just having a heyday at the end. 85% to star. So let's go ahead and take a look at another replay, and this time we'll talk a little bit about the strategy that is functioning here. Obviously, with the Battle Machine going down first, you're using it to try to pick up structures like the Archer Towers. So as it works on this wall, take a look at the two Archer Towers above the Builder Hall. Those are the two Archer Towers here that Hellfrog, from Full Night Attack as well, is hoping to get the Battle Machine to distract so that they don't take out a whole bunch of minions and damage the dropships as they come in from the left-hand side. So sure enough, the Battle Machine moving a little bit far to the right here, but watch as the tall Archer Tower is going to refocus right as it goes down the minions taking it out and then the short range archer tower is stuck focusing on the battle machine the entire time now it doesn't seem like that's a significant difference but hey the numbers don't lie these guys are putting up solid attacks and using the battle machine first which personally i'm not used to trying and i definitely need to go out there and give this an attempt or two because it's being very effective at making the pack of minions and even the dropships live longer and a little bit longer life for those guys means a great deal more damage and the builder hall is almost always going to go down in these style attacks. So as this replay wraps up you'll notice just like the last one minions out of range of all defenses grabbing a few last structures and although Hellfrog won't quite get to 80% damage a 79% two-star is almost always going to be enough to take home the victory. And in this day and age where pretty much every strategy has been imagined and has been used, I am looking for more things like this as always, you guys. I would love to see innovation and new techniques, new attack strategies being used in both the home and the Builder Hall villages. So next up with another replay of this Bass Ackwards dropship minion attack strategy is somebody else with hell in their name. I don't know why so many FNA members suddenly have hell in their name, but okay, here we go. Hellacious Flame dropping in the level 13 battle machine. And again, watch it pick up that tall archer tower and of course the attention of the multi-mortar firing on it instead of the skeletons allowing them to get more work done in the interior of the village. So again, the battle machine doesn't really get a great deal of damage by itself. It really is just a distraction. You can see there, it didn't even get inside the wall. It is now up to just those minions on the left-hand side to get through the damage and Hellacious Flame counting on them to get the job done at the Builder Hall. So this is a close one. Okay, it's not that close, but it's never a great feeling when you have no control over the attack. Everybody's been deployed and you're just hoping hoping that they are going to get through those last structures and get to the Builder Hall. So it works out here as it seems to usually do. And once again, the end of the attack looks just like the others we saw. And we look at another 79% two star as Salacious Flame picks up just one more structure. And I got the percentage wrong. It's actually 82. Didn't think he was going to get that camp. Good job, Salacious Flame. 82% two star. Man, these guys are just killing it with this strategy. I'm telling you, we have got to get out and give this a try. Again, we've got another replay from Captain K 
and he's going to use that battle machine in the beginning of the attack one more time. Now, another thing you need to watch out for here, of course, is you don't want the battle machine to go after a crusher early. You don't want it to go down unnecessarily early, so there's two key structures, obviously the crusher and the giant cannon. The skeletons are going to do a great job of distracting the giant cannon, and as long as you drop the battle machine somewhere where it's not within range of a crusher, it should have enough of a lifetime to get some distraction done, and in Captain K's case right here, a lot of damage. So the other defensive structures in the area went down early. Finally, the giant cannon is going to work on it there, but it survives that as well. And here, again, last unit standing are the minions, and wisely, Captain K saved a couple because he needed those last second minions to take out the Builder Hall because the Battle Machine was not going to do it off to the left-hand side. So much damage done by the Battle Machine this time. And yes, Captain K well into the 80%. And once again, we see a Beta Minion out of range of all air defenses, grabbing a few more structures before this attack finally wraps up with a 90% two-star win. So in the case of the reverse drop minion, look for a place where you can drop the battle machine out of range of the crusher and the giant cannon, but within range of the archer towers, and you should have success. Thank you guys, as always, for watching all the way to the end of the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, thumbs up, share, be kind to others, and of course, above all else, wait, I already said be kind to others, and that's pretty much above all else. So uh, second to that, well, value your family and spread love throughout the universe. But okay, way down the list somewhere else is come back again tomorrow for more full attacks. Gally Dog, I see you've got a list. Where am I on that list? Hey Gally Dog, am I number 17? That's okay.